I'm over the all seen camera. We are back to the channel with another one. Today we have an unboxing to do, as you guys can see. I'm not gonna lie to you, I don't know what's inside this box, so there's not really too much pregame. We'll get straight into it and start talking about it as soon as we open it. I'm super excited to see what's in here, so let's just get right into it. Yeah, I feel like every episode I use some random shit to open a box. Where's my knife at? Pen actually works. Okay, okay, okay. I can tell off the rip we have Jordan 1s here. And the box is super interesting. The box is dope. I love the different colors on it. I love the two. Oh, all right. So it's actually all brown and orange, but the top is different. The top is burgundy and orange, and then green with stitching around the night. That's a very interesting top for the Jordan 1s box. What do you guys think about that top? Just looking at the box, I already know the sneakers. No bullshit, I already know the sneakers. 1985 Jordan Air 1s. It's those gray, burgundy, multicolored, I forgot the name of them, retro, oh, Jordan 1 Retro High OG. I don't know the name of them, but I know exactly what, I know exactly what sneakers these are. Okay, I'm not gonna lie to you. These look a lot better in person. I'm not gonna lie to you. These look a lot better in person. I, I actually really dig these. See, at first, I wasn't sure if I dug them because of the little metallic silver part. Well, let's get them out and then we can go over them. Mm, okay, I actually dig these in person. I'm not gonna hold you. All right, this shoe comes with four laces. Let's go straight to that. It comes with a black lace, a white lace, but inside the sneaker looks like there is already in both shoes. As you guys can see here, it's the infrared laces with black on them as well. Is that one lace? Is it tied together? Oh, I think it's, no, it's one lace. I was thinking it's two separate laces. It's one lace. Because we can see here, look, it's infrared and black in the same spot. Like, it's fusing in together. Okay, all right, all right. That's super dope. That's interesting. I want to see how it looks laced both ways to compare. But I'm not going to lie to you guys. When I saw these online, I had a couple, I had a couple opportunities to hit these. Couple opportunities. So there's a, there's a Twitter page I follow and I turn on my notifications on which I'm gonna actually bless y'all right now and give y'all the Twitter. You turn on your notifications, you will catch you will catch a lot of restocks. That's how I do it. Well, one of the many ways. Let me tell you the Twitter. Y'all gonna think I'm holding out on y'all, but no bullshit, I can't find. <laughs> I'm going through my notifications. Like, bro, I get a notification every day. I have it on for this site. I'm like, how the hell can I not? How do I go through my... F ah, I found it. So it's S-N-K-R underscore Twitter, but it's spelled... T-W-I-T-R, I'll put it down below. This is a picture of the Avi in case you wanna know how the Avi looks. But guys, I turn on my notifications for this site. As you guys can see, I have the little bell on. I don't do that for any other site, but I do it for this site. The only reason is because you get stuff like that. Like you'll just keep getting updates all day. Like, yo, there's new color socks or these dropping today on stock X. He gives you a lot of codes too. If you want to buy the Dame, the Dame 8, you can get a code right now to get 30% off. New balances dropped today, and the good thing is he gives you the link right there. So, you know, it's an easier way just when you're lazy. But guys, I also wanted to get to the official name for these sneakers because I just like to refer them by their actual name. So you can look them up in case you like them. On Stock X, they're listed as the Jordan 1 Retro High OG Handcrafted. The name of them is are the Handcrafted. They're reselling right now, still, it's actually basically at retail. Last sale 178 lowest ask 183 highest bid 178 that's in a size 10 and a half a 10 selling better 183 lowest ask 183 172 highest bid so they're basically going for retail right now so if you do like these you can still grab them for a retail price i'm not gonna lie to you so guys the thing i didn't like about these when i first laid my eyes on them the reason i got a little scared because they restocked and i had a couple i had like two opportunities to grab them and i was like eh, eh. do you guys see the 3m material right 3m at first when i first looked at it on line it was throwing me off i don't know i wasn't the biggest fan of it but one thing about 3m is that i love 3m as a material from clothing to sneakers i just didn't know about this colorway over the burgundy i don't know i was just it wasn't the biggest fan at first but now seeing them in person i'm not gonna lie to you guys i'm not gonna lie to you guys the 3m doesn't bother me at all the 3m doesn't bother me at all even though i love the colors that they chose yes i feel like all these colors individually would be its own fly sneaker but together, I can see what they did with the exposed, with the exposed stitching, giving me that true religion feel. <laughs> As you guys can see, the white stitching going all around the shoe. 
and the leather on these feels really good and it's not a solid white which I like I think that's what I like about it to me it's not a solid white it's like a little beige like a little cream vibe to it as well same with the bottoms on the bottom soles yo you guys ever get a pair of sneakers and they got shit like that like a defect like that gets me so mad like why are they coming with that and look at the suede right there bro that's something we're gonna have to look at after this video I'm like, what the hell? Nothing gets me more mad than opening a pair of sneakers and seeing something like that. Like, it's crazy. So again, guys, the materials feel really good on these. The leathers feel amazing. The suede feels really nice and smooth. My favorite color on these, you guys would probably think I would say brown. Just gotta love brown so much. But you guys also you gotta remember, navy blue, green, and brown are my favorite colors on my skin. This green is beautiful. Like, this suede green is amazing. I love it. I love that part a lot. So toe box, we can see the brown suede going around the exterior. In the inside, we have the cream once again. Going to the tongue, we have the nylon tongue black with the tag on the top, Nike call out in infrared to match the infrared laces. If that's the colorway you would like to go to. But once again, you have three options. You have the infrared laces, you got white and you got black. So you got your options on what you would like to wear. I don't know if I would wear infrared laces on these. I'm not going to lie. I know that's what the young kids are doing today. You wear like one foot infrared, wear the other one not. There's a lot of sneakers that I would do it with. I just don't know if these are it. Just because there's already so much going on that I would try to neutral these down a little bit more. So I would rock with either probably the black or white laces. I don't know about the white. Probably black. No bullshit. I got to see them laced though. Maybe I'll love the infrared. You never know. Keeping one foot infrared doing one black. You know like these young kids do. Yo, also, side note, if y'all didn't cop one of these Supreme headbands when I told y'all, y'all slack. Bro, this is, oh, I love it. It's so comfortable. It's so warm. My house is kind of chilly. I threw this on with a hoodie. I'm warm. I'm comfortable. Y'all slack. I should have bought all three colors. No bullshit. I think about that shit every night and day. Bottom of the sneaker, classic Jordan 1 bottoms, all black, as you guys can see. Oh, I love the smell of new sneakers. I just love that new sneaker smell. On the top, we have premium black leather and then premium black leather as well on the sides. The material that they use, you can feel that it's really good material that they use for it. Oh, I actually just noticed there's 3M as well going around the toe box. If you guys can see that, if not, I'll zoom up better at the end. But there is 3M going around the toe box, around the brown. That's interesting. That's dope. Give it a little pop when light hits it. I can see why they did it. I can see why they did it. I'm just thinking about me wearing them like this. No bullshit, yo. If they would have took one color off, like if they would have just left these brown and green, crazy. Brown and burgundy, even crazy. And still, you guys could have still kept the black Nike checks. It could have still kept the 3M. I think they're cool the way that they. But I would have wore these shits every single day if that same green was the heel as well. If it was brown, brown, and that green was the heel as well, bro, these would be one of my favorite sneakers ever. I would be wearing them shits heavy. The white stitching, you guys know I hate true religion. This is what it's reminding me of, but it works. It works because of the handcrafted name, and it gives it that, like, yo, they just took mad different suede and threw it on together and made an OG classic sneaker. I like this one a lot, a lot, a lot more in person. So this is something that we're happy that we like more in person. Nothing worse than when you order something online, looks better online, you get it in person, you're super disappointed. Why I'm kind of scared to order that Kanye jacket. I have so many chances to hit that round jacket. I'm just like, I want to see it in person. I want to feel the materials, and I just want to put it on one second and look at myself in the mirror. And then if I like it, I'll order it. I just, I'm so scared to order that fucking jacket. And then it's not reselling, so that's what's kind of scaring me. It's so easy to get. So we got to think about that. But once again, guys, here we have the Jordan 1 handcrafted. We will do a try on. Comment down below. Let me know what you think about them. I like them. I'm not going to lie to you. When I saw them online, I wasn't the biggest fan just because of all the colors. Same thing with the biohazards. I wasn't the biggest fan of them as well. But I've seen girls wear them and they look super dope. I've seen dudes wear them too. They are high like that. I, I like them after I saw them in person as well, the biohazards. It's just something about seeing so many colors online. It just gives me a headache. Not really my style, but I like them. I'm not, I like the biohazards too when I saw them in person. But these right here give me like a grown man biohazard vibe. Because the biohazards had more still like a fun kiddish vibe. These give me like a grown man vibe. I like these a lot. I'm not going to lie to you. Comment down below. Let me know what you think about them. Do I think they're going to become a hot commodity and start reflipping crazy? No, I don't think so. I just think if you like these, these would be super dope to buy and to just wear and throw on. Now, if you buy them right now for 180 buy, buy two pairs on StockX, pay like 320 or plus tax, like 360 around there for two pairs of these right now. 
bid, probably can get them for 170 each maybe, get them down to retail, or maybe they'll drop, we don't know. But if you guys can get them from the price of 160 to 180, I would wear one, and you're gonna have to sit on one if you do wanna see any kind of increase on it, unless you're cool with making like $50, I think you can make 50 off these smooth. Like, sit on these for like a year, you'll probably make 50 on them. I think these are really dope though to wear. Like if you're really, if you wanna wear them, they got a lot of color options, they're fun, they look like they're really cool shoes that you can put a lot of fits together, pick them up. Comment down below, let me know what you think about them. Again, do I think they're a hot commodity that you're going to become a millionaire of these? Are they going to be a really good reflip? I don't believe so, but you guys let me know. I think if you like the sneaker, cop to put on feet. Cop to put on feet. They look dope. I like them a lot more in person. I can't say that anymore. Let's go do this try on. We'll do the zoom up details. And then after that, like I love to say until the next one. We out of here. What the fuck is this?